78 Sports TV here. So I'm checking out my boy Boxing Beast and Rhymes page. Doing it from Boxing Beast and Rhymes channel. This is Tony Thompson. Chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. Hey, Glenn, you chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. This is that Mayor Hardcore Man Store on Boxing Beast and Rhymes YouTube channel. I don't know if you want to. Possible Manny Pacquiao fight with Boy Mayor. How do you feel about that? Well, basically, I mean, it's a fight that still has a potential to happen. All right, I'm going to pass you over to my co-host. We say boxing beats and rhymes. I'm sure he's got a few questions for you. Go ahead, Beats. Yeah, Torino, how you doing? I'm good. I can't complain. God been blessing me. Yes, indeed. God bless. God bless. So, three wins on the trot since the Stevens fight. That's determination. Most fighters, after a setback like that, they take ages out. But you got straight back on the horse. What made you decide to take that cause of action? Oh, you know, my promoter, he saw, you know, after the Curtis Stevens fight that, hey, he didn't like it, neither did I didn't like it. You know, uh, it was an unfair deal. Uh, he said, listen, we're going to get right back up on the horse, Toriano. You're determined, you're eager, you want to be a world champion. We're going to make you a world champion. I said, yes, I'm down with that. That's what I want. And, hey, Gary Shaw sure saw to it, you know, along with my management team that, hey, let's get Toriano fight. If you want to fight, let's get him in the ring with just about anybody who wants to fight him because it's kind of difficult even at this point to get opponents for even myself, which, and, you know, I don't understand. Well, I'm not on the receiving end of my punches, but hey, yeah. uh, it's kind of difficult to get opponents for myself. But hey, Gary Shaw said, let's get, get Toriano fight, and that's what we've been doing. I've had three fights since, and I'm uh, going to make this one my fourth one, and hopefully, you know, after this fight, we get a big shot to get on the big screen for everybody to see just exactly who Toriano is and what he can do. Let them know that Toriano have never turned down a challenge from anybody. So, hey, I'm ready to go through anybody. Lemieux, Andy Lee, the Chalo brothers and all I, I, I'm very interested in. You know, let's make fights happen. Let the Phantom see fight. You know, gone are the days when fighters fought champion, when champion for a champion. You know, even um, if I got to flip this in here. You know, for the like to even Peter Quillen, whom I gave the, the name alias Peter Chicken. You know, uh, ain't no champion supposed to give up a title just because he's afraid to fight another fighter. Champions fight champions. And that's what Toriano Johnson is here to show. That I'm not afraid to fight anybody. Being a champion, I'm willing to fight champions. That's my job. My job is to show the fans that, hey, this is the kind of show y'all want to see. This is the show that I'm going to give. You know something? I was thinking about Peter Quillen. I was going to ask you, but I said I better not because you might not want to talk about it but you did and you are 100 percent correct wherever i interview peter quillen you are what did you think what was the first thing what came to your head when you saw him give his belt up like that that is a total dis embarrassment a disgrace to the sport of boxing the management and the organizers of peter quillen ought to sit down and regroup and capitalize on what just happened that went wrong there's no way in the world a champion would ever say that he's not gonna fight yes indeed I agree, I agree. Well, I love your mentality, I love your attitude towards it. And we'll talk to you soon. Much appreciated. God bless you. Take care. All right, and chat. See you. Bye.